What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today I'd like to go over the new update we did receive 1.05. I'm going to link these patch notes down in the description below so you can read over them. I'm not going to go over every single detail because I don't want to bore you for 15 minutes talking about the stuff that changed. I'm going to kind of hit the high points of what changed in game that a lot of people would be interested in. But there may be some small thing that I don't mention that you were looking, looking for. So definitely check into those patch notes. Also, all of the weapon mods had complete changes. There is a chart in these patch notes of what every single weapon mod does now. So definitely look over those. A lot of these weapon mods have just positive effects and no negative, but there are still a few weapon mods with positive and negative effects like, you know, like before the update came out. Now, the first thing that kind of talked about was the overhaul of weapon and the mod system in general and the overhaul of kind of the skill system also. The first thing they did with weapons was the MK-17 got a reduction in damage by 14%. The LWN-4 got an increase in damage by 5% and an increase in RPMs to 360. The LVOAC got an increase in RPMs to 380. The Model 700 sniper rifle got a reduction in damage by 13%. So the sniper and of course the MK-17, which were probably the, one of the Either way you looked at it, one of the two most strong DPS style weapons in the game, I guess you would say, some of the strongest guns in the game have definitely been knocked back a bit. Uh, the AA-12 shotgun got a damage increase by 16% and the MG-5 got a kind of buff to cause the weapon to do more damage over time at a longer distance. And one thing that I was disappointed in, of course I knew this was coming, I talked about it in a video a few days back. They reduced the amount of critical damage and headshot damage that will roll on gear. So crit, sh crit shot damage and headshot damage will be smaller percentages now. And this will also include your older gear that you already have. So this is not just for new gear. This is all gear in the game will have a kind of a smaller amount. I, I have picked up some new pieces. It's not been awful, but it's not been as good as it was either. It's kind of in between the old way or the old percentages and some really low percentages kind of just meets in the middle it's like i said it's not horrible but it's not great either in my opinion so far um some of the good things they did in my opinion was they pretty much redid the chem launcher now if you're a straight healer when you equip the chem launcher when you just press the button to equip it instead of just healing you it will automatically kind of pull it out like a weapon and you can aim it to wherever you want you have to now you have to double tap to just heal yourself or drop the heal directly on you in general. Now, some other player skills were kind of tweaked to work correctly. Some were still not working right. Some still have some bug issues with them. They did some things with those as well. Uh, they did a lot with loot and rewards. Uh, one of the big ones was DZ XP gain from landmarks in the dark zone have been reduced. Faction key loot drops from bounties are now guaranteed. Um, some other things they did with loot and kind of crafting in general increased the cap for material for standard and specialized crafting materials to 400. The material uh, cap for high-end crafting materials is now 50. So that those are two good things in my opinion. Now you can farm a little bit more because believe me, you're definitely going to need those materials. I've played a lot today. I've got a lot of new gear and it's not been that great role-wise. It's been kind of bad. So... I don't really have that great of luck playing games anyway. My RNG is horrible. But if you're like me, you're definitely going to need that material to re-roll a lot of this stuff that you're going to be getting. They also changed the upgrade blueprints for exotic weapons uh, for the Lullaby and the Ruthless. Also increased the power of the Wandering Vendor. So her inventory has a narrower gear score uh, and range closer to the top of the world tier. Now, I did notice that even with the like Clan Vendor and the Vendor inside the White House, they had stuff that was closer to your level now. They had like 470s, 472, 471. Things were closer to the world tier 5 kind of gear score. Also, some other things they did was they increased or decreased the amount of crafting material to craft certain things. You know, with certain blueprints, whether it be mods or gear. Mostly a small decrease in all of these, which is a good thing. It takes a little bit less to craft this stuff because, as you know, if you re-roll and craft mods and... If you're a person that crafts gear, I still don't think crafting is where it should be, but it's gotten a little bit better with this update. You're going to use a lot of material. Now, they did nerf a little bit of something with the NPCs, so at least we got some gun nerfs, but the NPCs did as well. The SMGs and the automatic shotguns got a decrease in damage, which I thought was probably a good idea 
because sometimes you can get one shot by an NPC with an SMG or a shotgun in some of these harder missions. And besides that, guys, it was mostly UI fixes and bug fixes. There was tons of bug fixes, but the other main thing, like I said, that's on this list of, of patch notes is what they have changed with the weapon mods. Just to kind of give you an idea, some of the magazines now will give you a 5% fire rate increase, a 20% reload speed, 15% uh, stability, 35 extra rounds, 10 extra rounds, and they will not have a negative attribute. But then you can look at some of these magazines that will give you 20 extra rounds but a 10% reload reduction. Kind of like in the past, but now most of the attachments give you positives and not negatives. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, make sure you read over these patch notes for yourself so you can see if anything that you were really looking for, some smaller details might have been fixed. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.